We've come here to buy property, fix it up, and resell it. All to make a profit. Did we mention we're going to do it with no money and bad credit? This is Turnkey. And we're going to show you how to do it too. Looks like we found another property, but again, we got no money and we got bad credit. Welcome to Turkey. Now, now we just left the property and now I'm over here at one of the local businesses. And it looks like, you know, the bank originally wants $155,000. I really got to buy it between $140,000 and $150,000. The reason why is I believe after I fix up the property, it's going to cost me about $20,000 to $25,000 to fix up this property. The after repair value of this property, I think it's going to be between $220,000 and $235,000. But you never know on that market. Coming is the lower end. As you probably know, hey guys, I've got no money, I've got bad credit, so how am I going to do it? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contact one of the hard money lenders that I work with. Now this one here, I'm going to try a different hard money lender. This one here, I'm going to talk to them on the phone, and we're going to see what type of um, loan they're going to be able to give me on the first. Now, this one here, they're going to give me about 60% of the after repair value. Remember, it's very, very important that you know, always do your calculations of the after repair value of the property on that. So the after repair value, they're coming out to be about, about $220,000 after it's fixed up. You take 60% of that, that comes out to be about maybe about $140,000, $140,000, $145,000 approximately on that. Now, this is the key. I did contact one of my private investors. The private investor decided to come in great, but I'm still short. I still need some money to fix up the property. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to show you something that's a little bit added, a little bit more creative for you. Very easy on that. You just got to think outside the box. There is a local plumbing supply company that I work with a lot here, okay? Now, what they're willing to do is that they're willing to allow me to buy all the plumbing material. That means my hot water heater, my pipes, my tub, my sink, all my plumbing material, okay, on a deferred basis. In other words, don't have to pay for 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days on that. You've got to open an account with them, okay? You've got to know them. So it's very, very important that you want to have an account set up with your local merchant. Okay, if you know somebody, go to a hardware store. Well, this guy here is a plumbing store. So I got an account set up to get all my plumbing supplies. So I don't have to come up with the money now to fix up the property. Now, if we take the value of what we're buying the property, we're gonna buy the property about 142. After I've done the negotiation back and forth, back and forth with the bank, we agreed that we're gonna buy the property for $142,000, okay? Now, it's gonna cost me a budget of about $20,000 to pick up the property, and we're gonna sell it for about $220,000. So, you do the numbers, okay? I predict that we're probably gonna make maybe about $30,000 on that. So what did I do differently this time? This one here, I still got a high money loan on the property. Second, I did have a private investor, but now, what have I done? I've got a local merchant to come aboard, okay? I built a relationship with the local merchant, and that local merchant is gonna give me some building material, which is a plumbing supply, to fix up the property, so I don't have to come up with the money right now. I'll come up with it later, and that's the point that you have to do. Okay? All right? So again, guys, we got no money, we got bad credit, but you can always make money in real estate. You just got to be creative. Next time on Turnkey. We decided to put some texture on it. On that very, very inexpensive. It cost us maybe about $150. And uh, the city had us required to do some repairs on the property. Okay? We had to move. A potential buyer who comes down here, they're going to look at the backyard because a lot of them have